We are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy. Welcome to Conspiracy Dummy, the conspiracy podcast that's addicted to the cryptid. I am your host, Double D. Joining me on the podcast today, we have a young Christian warrior and a dinosaur aficionado, Mr. Dino Ryder. What's up, homie? Yeah, what's up, man? How's everybody doing? And um, just here to answer some of Danny's uh, questions <laughs> about the chupacabra. The chupacabra, yeah. Today, man, we're going to be talking about the goat sucker. And I'm not talking about groupies going down on the greatest of all time. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the other blood sucker, El Chupacabra. First of all, how are you doing, bro? I'm all right. Good, good. Okay. Hey, are you familiar with the Chupacabra, bro? The goat sucker? Well, okay. So, you know me. I'm Puerto Rican. Everybody knows. I've been knowing Danny for, what, eight years now? That's but I never you. told you. I have, I have never told you where my hometown is, right? By Amon. Did I ever tell you that, Danny? Nah, nah. What is it? I know you're from Puerto Rico. So what, what part of Puerto Rico are you from? It's Bayamon. And listen, what I'm trying to tell you is this, that Bayamon, dude, as I started, like, uh, checking this little chupacabra deal out, is that the story, dude, it's very interesting. The story, the first sightings reported in Puerto Rico was in 1995, right? Yeah, yeah. And in that time, I was probably, like, eight eight or nine years old, dude. And I remember, dude, around that time, people talking about that Chupacabra thing, the sightings about, you know, being a um, kind of like an alien type thing. But yeah, you know, in 1995, that's how it all started. And then as I started, you know, like uh, doing some research, the lady, dude, that uh, first of all started these sightings was, name her name was Medellin Pulino this lady do it's interesting because she was like from the 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 well in Puerto Rico they call it the the sightings was in Cava Canovanos I was looking this up Canovanos and Canovanos dude it's only like uh, three miles away from where I'm from Bayamon so it's very interesting, you know, being young, you know, but I didn't know that being young, but this lady was the first lady, was her name was Medellin Tolino, that saw that first sighting of that Chupacabra. She started all of this, but it's interesting, dude, because it was three miles away from my hometown. Damn. Did I you, never knew that. Did you have livestock on your property? Like, did you grow up on a farm or what? Well, but that was, the land was my dad. When he was, um, when we were over there, from what I remember, I, you know, remind me, I was like eight years old. Uh, it was like cropland. It was like a farmland that he had bought. My dad was, his side of the family was kind of wealthy. So they bought farmland. And I remember though, that dude, it was mainly like uh, those places by Amon in that time, it was mainly like rainforest. You know, I don't know about today, but uh, it might be more populated more civilized but in those days it was just like straight up you know like um, yeah. jungle rainforest but yeah it's interesting to me you know that this lady Medellin Tolino saw the the first sighting she started all of that she's from Canovanos and that's what they call La Ceiba do La Ceiba is like the la, la Selva the jungle that's the rainforest there's a big rainforest in central uh, Puerto Rico, dude, they call it La Ceiba. And Bayamón, where I'm from, it's only like three miles away. You got to remember that Puerto Rico is an island. It's a very small country. So maybe it's something that dwells in the jungle but comes out at night, killing livestock on farmlands. Uh, see anything that's sucking your goats or choking your chicken? Anything well, like not personally, but, uh, you know, in Puerto Rico, dude, back in those days, you know, you got coyotes, you got feral dogs. So I think that's part of the... Part yeah. of the um, like the part of the mistaken identity or the description of these things. It goes with that, dude. The, the you know the, the people seeing sightings and stuff, but it's just people being uninformed of you know the animals out there. That's why right. some people say that it's like a 
like a coyote or a dog with mange. You know what I mean? Like it's like the fucking fur is all taken off. Well, there's evidence, bro. There's evidence that now people are more informed. Is you know there's they're, actually their mange, their dogs with the disease. You know they lose their hair. Yeah. And they look like uh, I guess reptiles. Oh yeah, man! It could look like reptile. Mortal Kombat. You know, they, that's what they call it, chupacabra, dude. Is the, in reality, it's uh, what's the, those dogs that were diseased, you know, and they lost all their hair. And, you know, this lady, you know, accidentally um, misjudged one of these, I guess, because in real life, is there's no such thing as a chupacabra, but, you know, people's well, imagination, hey, hey, bro. bro. You never know, man. You never know. Something's fucking killing these things, draining its blood. And then they, some people mm. said they've seen it, bro. They say that it's de- they depict it as a creature with red eyes, fangs, has spikes running from the back of its head down to its spine. Some say it has a tail, like it's covered mm-hmm. in scales or some kind of reptilian skin, you know what I mean? Like lizard people, you know? Um, yeah, man, I need to give me some boots, some chupacabra boots, you know what I mean? That'd be dope. Hey, you know, part of that that's funny is part of that, oh, um, it's kind of like a misidentification People not being informed is that uh, in in uh, in those times, dude, and around that time where all these sightings were in Puerto Rico, dude, even to this day, they have a problem with iguanas, those green iguanas, and these things can grow up to six feet long. I don't know if you ever seen a green iguana in Puerto Rico, dude, but Puerto Rico, dude, they, they have had uh, issues with iguanas. Even to this day, they, they're like straight up massacring a lot of them, killing them off. Because in Puerto Rico, they, they cause a lot of trouble. They destroy crops. They destroy, like, you know, houses. They get into the crops. They, they burrow. And they just cause a lot of destructions. But these, these iguanas, do they get to be six feet long. And sometimes they climb trees and bushes. So my thinking is that this lady, the first lady that I ever uh, described uh, a sighting, the lady Medellin Tolino, I was thinking maybe this lady... Probably, you know, because she said she opened her window and she saw, like, like the creature you just described, which is, like, a four-foot-tall, scaly reptile with uh, spikes running down its back. That makes sense. And having red eyes. And when you think about it, an iguana, dude, when I was back there, those things got huge. They reminded me, like, monitor lizards. Mm. So, yeah, those things get pretty big and tall. So, I think that's why she probably saw was one of them big green iguana standing up on a branch or something dude like within a year remember what you said earlier like 1995 that it was reported right but within a year bro uh fucking two more than two thousand animals goats chickens cows were all fucking being fucking killed off bro but something was like sucking the blood out of these bitches you know what i mean so mm-hmm. like you think like i don't know man what if, what if if there's like this vampire varmin that's creating this nuisance in your motherland you know what i mean like what would you do? Like, cause I know back then, even around that time, the mayor, I don't know. I forgot his name, but the mayor was fucking like getting people together to hunt this thing down, bro. You know what I mean? He, uh, what's his name? Also, Kimo Soto. See, you're coming from the, the realm of, uh, Oh, you probably do believe, Oh, like there might be these creatures, but me, the way I think is like, like I said, it's, it's just people misunderstanding what they're seeing. I don't really believe in cryptic stuff like that. Like, I'm the type of person, bro. Like, I got to see it to believe it with my own eyes. I don't go by sightings, but, you know, it's fun to hear people's uh, imagination go wild and shit. Well, yeah, I know. Like, so, you know, and some people even say this thing fucking even had wings, bro. Like a bat. You know, if that, that makes sense, dude. Like, because... Like, if it started in Puerto Rico, and then they, now they're seeing it within Mexico and within the United States, South America, in mm-hmm. order for something to leave that island, you know what I mean? I, you would think it probably flew out of there, you know what I mean? And, like, you know, the, yeah. chup- the Chupacabra is like the fucking Latin America's Bigfoot. You know what I'm saying? It's like mm-hmm. they, it's their mascot or whatever, you know? <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's just like something that they just took off and ran with it, you know? So, yeah, I know, like, it hey, ma- to that? Yeah. To add to this, dude, I don't know if you guys ever know, but to add to this whole chupacabra thing, there's a few facts that I um, I was doing some re- research. And did you know in Puerto Rico, I didn't even know this, and I'm from Puerto Rico, dude, but did you know in Puerto Rico they had they recently had the biggest satellite 
in in a few years back they destroyed it have you ever seen that huge satellite that I heard. came out in the movie the movie species no oh speaking about species yeah and let me finish yeah. that's where around that time yeah. species that movie with the aliens and the united states doing uh scientific experiments yeah and you know it was like an alien type thing that movie goes Uh -huh. That movie, dude, was partly shot in Puerto Rico. Yep. I didn't even know that until I, I did some research. And I was like, okay, that's part of the reason that, you know, people being ignorant, this lady, <laughs> this lady saw this movie and she was like, you know, oh, sh you know, I just saw Chupacabra and I think it was like a damn iguana outside. Oh, you know, but it, it's just how crazy that the people's imaginations roll like that. But yeah, it's very interesting that that movie Species Uh, came out in that year, around yeah, that year, 1995. Yeah. yeah, it came out the same year. So either one fucking copied each other. You know what I mean? Like one of them copied each other. Well, so, I think that fueled, that's the thing. I think it fueled people's imaginations over there. Because you got to uh, remember that in 1995, Danny, it's not as populated. It wasn't as populated as it is now. It wasn't civilized. It was mainly like Silva. Silva, you know, you're talking about rainforest. You know, and that helped, helped build that in South America. Central America, you know, the Caribbean, it helped build that, uh, the cryptic thing. It helped it, you know, like a little legend. Now, now it's, everybody knows about the Chupacabra. You know, that movie helped it, you know, grow as a kind of like a little, you know, like you said, a little cryptic from kind of like the, the, what are you saying? The, the Bigfoot of the Latin America. Type. Yeah. Yeah, man. So like, and like, do you, did you know that out there in Fort, In Puerto Rico, there's a place called Fort Buchanan. It's like a military base, and some people say yeah. some people say that this creature, the chupacabra, the goat sucker, escaped from there. So like, mm -hmm. you know, it could be some fucked up a lab experiment. You know, just went wrong and just got out. So who knows? Well, that too is um, in in Puerto Rico too. There's this place called El Yunque, dude. El, El Yunque is what they call El Yunque. It's called the rainforest. Not too far from uh, Canovanas, where the lady saw the first sighting. El Yunque, dude, is where they have, uh, over there, the United States have military bases. So it's kind of like Area 51. I don't know what Area 51 is. Is that over there somewhere in New Mexico? Uh, is that yeah, where that yeah, is? Area 51 is in is Nevada. That New I'm not sure. Nevada, I believe, maybe? I think Nevada. You might be right, but it's kind of like that. And I remember... You know, the people over there uh, talking about that's where, you know, they, the United States is doing scientific, you know, experiments with animals and releasing these things. But, yeah, growing up in Puerto Rico, I've always heard stories, dude. Even when we were little, you know, it's funny that we used to tell us, go inside early because if not, the chupacabra is going to suck you. You know, you fill it in, but... <laughs> You said chupacara te va a mamar la, you know. La chupa. So it's like, yeah. So everybody as a little kid growing up, and I remember, dude, it's like everybody used to be like, get inside early before sundown because the chupacabra is gonna get y'all. Every kid that's Puerto Rican and that was, you know, growing up in the late 90s in Puerto Rico yeah. knows about that. So it's uh, it's part of the culture over there. But, yeah, man, you know, like, say the thing did have wings, you know, and it's flying. Maybe this, this is the reason why people find a lot of cattle mutilation around, the like, the U.S., mm -hmm. or around the world, actually. You know what I mean? They find cows, like, all mutilated and drained of blood, too. So maybe that's what's doing the same thing, you know what I mean? People say aliens, they're, like, taking these cows and draining them, but it could be the chupacabra, man. I mean, I don't, I, I, like I said, I don't believe it, like... I see it, I believe it, but as far as, you know, like uh, an alien type creature flying around, you know, sucking goats, uh, you know, it's fun, it's fun to think about that stuff, but to me, it's like, um, it's like the, the, the scientist, and I think I had it here, what's his name? Benjamin something. There it is, Benjamin Raffer. You know, he is steady This um, the chupacabra in Puerto Rico. It says in, f in five years he studied these things, and that's the guy that he found out and he came up 
with the conclusion that, yeah, there were animals that were diseased with mange, you know, that disease that makes yeah. the animal hair fall off. Mm -hmm. And there were even the coyotes, dude. They found coyotes were in coyotes over there. They're big, dude. And the bigger they are, the more people they care. They found foxes over there in Puerto Rico and dogs, feral dogs. So it's just, you know, it's just wild animals being diseased. And, you know, part of pop culture, too, with this movie Species and um, Contact. That's another movie, too, Contact. Everybody listening should probably look at Contact. That's another movie where um, That's a dope movie. it shows partly shot in Puerto Rico, and you can see the big satellite in there, which actually got deployed in two years ago. It's not there anymore. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. That's crazy, man. So, like... What are your like? What do you think? Could could this thing, the chupacabra, can it be like a freak of nature? Like what you say, like a dog with mange? Could it be a dinosaur, perhaps? You know what I mean? An old mm. dinosaur that fucking that's still oh, around. Or since you talked about that, you're you're. It's pretty interesting since you're talking about it might have been a dinosaur, which I doubt. I would just throw a little fact in there. Yeah. Um, and th I just wanted to say, Danny, that in nineteen in the late nineteen eighties. There was this paleontologist named Dale Russell, and he was suggesting if dinosaurs, the, the ones that um, went extinct in 65 million years ago in the Cretaceous period, if they have kept evolving, you know, like the, it's mainly the theropods, the dinosaurs that eat meat, the smaller ones, you know, theropods being the family that the velociraptors and mm -hmm. all these other smaller dinosaurs were to have evolved kept evolving it's interesting that he said it would have it would have um evolved into something that to me looks exactly like that chupacabra and it's called the dinosaur man the dinosaur man the dinosaur. and he describes it he describes it as being four to five feet tall walking on two it was bipedal on two legs it had no tail and it had big eyes that thing that thing had huge eyes he described it with teeth and the, the 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 thing that he um, envisioned them as that they didn't lay eggs; they gave uh, birth to live young. That's what he describes as if dinosaurs kept evolving, you know, past sixty five million years. If they kept evolving, they would have turned into a what he called a dinosauroid dinosaur man. You should look it up. Yeah, okay. And that thing looks just like the chupacabra. It walks on two legs. It has uh, the dinosaur scales, big eyes. But it's just interesting to me because I'm a guy that knows about, you know, paleontology. I was like, well, you know, maybe it could have looked like something like a, a dinosaur. Shit, it could be, man, or an alien. Or maybe an alien fucked a dinosaur, and now that creature roams the planet fucking up billy goats. What do you think about that? Maybe so, but to me, not likely. But like I said, to show me a body, even those bodies, did you know that? That tape, everybody knows that tape in the late 80s no, or the late 90s of the Roswell. Remember the autopsy? Oh, yeah, Did yeah. you ever see that? Yeah, yeah. That was, that was actually a hoax, but everybody thought at first it was real, the way it was shot and produced. Huh. It was a really well-made uh, video, and it shows scientists, you know, taking apart the, the, the body oh, of the alien. Yeah, I remember now. I remember what you're talking about. Yeah, it was a hoax. Everybody was a hoax, but, you know, the, the, the way they did it was very believable, so. Huh. I wonder if there's, like, mm. some real footage out there of, like, something like something like this, like something in a the lab they're just fucking filming. I wonder if it would get leaked. I don't know. It's interesting, though, something man. Something to think of. Yeah, it's something to think it of. It is interesting, you know, to be reading, because I did research on it, and it's funny to me that, it just uh, goes well together with the timeline. You know, the, the, these movies that were coming out in the late 90s with aliens and, you know, it's coming to Earth, those types of movies, sci-fi movies. Yeah. It played a big role into, you know, North uh, South America at that time. And that's how it, those movies actually helped the story of the Chupacabra, you know, made it popular, a popular story that even North Americans know about it. You know, there's, you know, when he was, this uh, guy, the the guy that was studying the chupacabra, who was saying that they were even sightings all the way up to where New Mexico, Nevada, places like that. Dude, you know, to Maine. That's where Maine. Yeah. All the way up to so Maine. that you know how the um, that's how 
famous it got because uh, that's crazy. It's just it was the right timing. You know, all these movies actually helped build that. Is there you know? is there a movie though, like a Chupacabra movie? I know like there's like an episode that came out in X Files, and like I don't know if there's a re- mm-hmm. other than Speechies because Speechies it's like its own thing. But like, is there really a movie of the Chupacabra? I gotta look into that. Man, there's probably a bunch. You know, those so cheap, cheap, uh, low budget Chupacabra movies. Low budget. They just throw some prosthetic. Fucking- yeah, even a Bigfoot. You know, I've seen uh, some of Bigfoot, which are, are laughable, dude. That shit. Yeah. <laughs> Well, let's get into this segment. It's going to be called uh, The Lesser of Three Evils. And let me see if I can do the sound effect. The Lesser of Three Evils. Okay, I'm going to ask you some a question, bro. And I'm, there's like three answers. And all the answers are fucked up, okay? That's the game, all right? You just got to choose the less fucked up answer, okay? So if you're a chupacabra, bro, you're a chupacabra, okay? If you were... And you had to drain blood from a body part, and you had three parts to pick from. Which one would it be? Would it be the penis, the asshole, or the mouth? But the mouth has an outbreak of herpes. So you got those three parts to suck blood from. <laughs> which part would it be? <laughs> Damn, dude! I didn't know you. I, I didn't know you. I didn't know you were doing shit like that. This should be. Um, this is the another part of the <laughs> I didn't know it was this Howard type Stern type shit on this channel but damn I'm over here trying to not cuss and shit and you're over here talking about assholes and shit okay I should have told you since the beginning you can cuss like a motherfucker dude like a sailor well if if, you if, if, if if you didn't mention assholes and herpes and penises it wouldn't be a, a Danny type podcast would it <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but for if you had to, like, do your fucking starving, you had to drink what blood. What was the question? What okay, was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> you're a chupacabra, dude. You're starving, bro. You need some blood. You need to drink blood, bro. And you gotta drink it out of these three body parts of an animal, right? Hey, the uh-uh. penis, the asshole, or the mouth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? Like, what the? Oh, what? Of a goat, if it's like a, a goat's not gonna have herpes. I don't think. I don't think. I <laughs> say it did. What would nigga, it be? <laughs> you talking about? First of all, it better not be no human because a chupacabra didn't suck no. You know what I'm talking about? Are you talking about a goat? Are yeah. you talking about a yeah, goat? Yeah, let's talk about a goat. <laughs> you gotta be more specific, sir. Yeah, like a goat thing from a goat. <laughs> Damn, that's a fucked up question. I don't even know how to answer. <laughs> I don't even know how to. <laughs> I know me too. That is a hard one. Okay, move. Let me okay. see. I would. Let me go down the line. <laughs> Definitely not the the verga. Forget that. <laughs> that's that's the, that. You might as well die right there. <laughs> the ass. Like they are I think you would be that. <laughs> oh, I don't know, dude. And then the other one said. The, what you said, herpes? The body had herpes? Yeah, the mouth. You gotta, like, like I guess, get blood out of the mouth. Like, suck it out of the mouth. But it's, like, infected with herpes. I don't know, man. I should probably give better answers, but that's the ones I could come up with. I would probably do the first one, and I'm not gonna go into details because that's kind of messed up. No assholes, no penis, sir. Okay, move on. On to the next one. Okay. Dude, you got okay. No, it was going very well. <laughs> I, like, I, I might, it was at questionnaire, I, yeah, but I, I, no, all I, of a sudden it turned into a Howard Stern episode. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Okay, I might not even do that one, but that's funny. And I can see you doing those type of shows yeah. too. That's why I'm like, what? yeah, it's th- just whatever. Okay, um, choose your death. Okay, either a chupacabra sucks you dry, sucks your blood dry, mm. right? Damn. Or you're drowned by a Loch Ness monster. Or okay. you're dropped to your death from a thousand feet in the air by the Mothman. Choose wisely. Since I'm a, you know me, I, I like pale, paleontolo- paleontologists. You know, I like dinosaurs, shit like that. And I actually like the plesiosaurs, which are the Loch Ness monsters. That's what the Loch Ness monsters is, the plesiosaur. I would choose the plesiosaur drowning me. At least I would get to have seen it, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's true. So I would choose that. I would choose that. And hopefully it'll be fast too. They just take you all the way down yeah. real fast. And I was like, "Oh shit! I saw this motherfucker, but then I'm gone." Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna eat some tacos, bro, right? And you have to choose 
tacos de chupacabra, tacos de Bigfoot, or tacos de uh, Nessie, Loch Ness monster. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Nessie. Yeah, dinosaur tacos. What would you? Did want? you know that the Loch Ness monster was named Nessie? Nessie? Yeah, that's what they called it, huh? Yeah, I will go with that one. So with that, fish, you like fish tacos? You know, I like fish tacos. Fish tacos? You want some? <laughs> okay, there you go. Loch Ness. With the please? No, it would be plesiosaur tacos. Pieces. Scientifically. With the little side of bean, uh, black. So a little lim- limon con chile, dude. Plesiosaur tacos. You you good to go? And some rice and black <laughs> beans. Yep. 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 Okay, yep. last question. This is a, a, a real easy one. Um, if you had a chupacabra as a pet, what would you call it? Shit, actually a chupacabra. It was a chupa. Come here, chupa. You know, in Spanish, cabra, little cabrito. <laughs> <laughs> but let me see. Cabron? I wouldn't have a cabron. Come here, cabron. You know, it goes with cabra, but I don't know. Hey, it's just me. Yeah, come, come here, cabron. Little cabrito, cabron. Come here. Something like that along the lines, dude. I will not take it seriously. All right, man. Well, thank you so much, friend, for doing this. I appreciate it. But uh, well, I mean, it was fun. You know, at first it was, you know, I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't expecting the last segment to go like that. But then again, like I said, it's a Danny Top podcast, so I'm not surprised. Yeah. You know, I appreciate you for the time, and I appreciate yeah, it was you, fun. man. And I got you next time I see you. Okay. All right, man. Give you me, know? give me a. a a saying in Spanish with the chupacabra. Say it in Spanish. And we'll end it with that. Okay. Metanse adentro hijo de puta que viene el chupacabra. And every little kid knew that shit. That was the <laughs> alarm. And go home before sundowns, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Translation. <laughs> All right. Translations. Translation. Over there, that's how they say it in Puerto Rico. Because they don't say the R. It's Puerto Rico. Puerto- we don't use the R. Boricua, morena, dominicano. Americano. Yes, sir.